Hello, hello to the amazing people, the Nimer here, and welcome to another episode of Dead in Windland, an amazing Viking themed crafting and survival game where you well, help a Viking family survive on a island with a sadistic enemy and then some other mysteries as well. Last time, well, I actually had a game over screen because I went into the depths of hell. I cannot find it right now. Is it here? No. Oh, interesting. A chemical apparatus. But anyway, I might not even have found it again. Uh, JLC was kind enough to tell us that we will need a um, armor to go down there. Uh, that's all right. And then, uh, yeah, let's continue making all the stuff. Let's see, what is this thing? I think I'm skipping this on purpose, right? Minus 25% chances to trigger a fight while exploring. I kind of still want to trigger this fight just to level up, so I'm going to leave it for now. Tavern. Minus one unpotable water consumed when brewing beer. Okay, drinking for three characters. Let's go with that next, I guess. Doesn't really matter though. Uh, don't uh, forget to check out the full playlist in the comment and description below the video if you are not up to date, want to watch the playthrough from the start. It's uh, well, a little bit challenging on the start actually, but now we are at the point where things became relatively easy, so... Okay, let's redo the dryer. There we go. <laughs> We're stockpiling like crazy amounts of these. Uh, not that we really need. Okay, so it seems like Moira is on wood chopping duty. That's okay. Everything looks fine here. Do we have a new sheep? Let me do kind of. Yeah, I feel like I don't get it like more than half the time. So I'm getting a little bit unlucky with that, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna play for two days here and then I'm gonna do events So if you want to see events make sure to Stick around until the end of the video Okay. My stations right now not optimized. It's mostly like Put to be like time efficient from my side Okay, no fight. Okay, let's go grab some iron. There we go and berries well actually she will not get experience there so i'm not sure what let's see how the woods are doing usually woods yeah they're starting to lose their ability so it's not really that great i'm gonna put her on fishing together with eric i guess <laughs> that's that's something yeah uh, okay how are we doing with ropes I do have like sickness. Let's make some more medicine. Dun, 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 dun. We found a new location. It's a tinder tree. Okay. You stumble upon a large tree covered in fungus. It's the only nearby tree in such a state. You wonder why? It is because of the golden sap leaking from the bark. Okay, I'm gonna check out the events later, like I said. Doggy. Okay, how are we doing with water? Let's see that. It's fine enough for now. Okay, let's go and cook some meals. There we go. Tavern 2 enables drinking for three characters. Well, you know, more the merrier, right? <laughs> more than merrier. And we get the fight. Yeah, we do. Okay, Mr. Grumpy Grump. Come and help us fight these. Okay. It would be much better if she was behind, but that's okay. So she didn't... I didn't build her to be the best fighter, but she's the best explorer. Show. So she ends up in fights automatically. Uh... Let's take the archers down. This is a relatively easy group of enemies, though. Shouldn't be much problems. Well, I'd be surprised if I had problems with any group of enemies, really. And does he say have... Oh, we might not have gave him the, the, the upgrade thing. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Insult. My, my. Okay. I'm just gonna go for this one. Might be good to put accuracy instead, but it's okay. And just like that, we are done. Whatever we get, we get. Uh, let me just check his say real fast. Do you have your... 
sharp weapon for minimum. Okay, he does. Why is that sharp? Ah, okay. Right, so now we can end the day. First, we're gonna do this though. No, not that. There we go. And then repair stuff. I'm just gonna take a look at the new event. Scratched rocks. This was easily dug by someone before, but they seem to have abandoned their work before they were finished. Okay. Uh, let's make some cheese, I guess. Oh, this will be... Clicking galore. There we go. Okay, sheep are nice and healthy. Ah, Brother Angelica could use some healing, I guess, but that's okay. What was your childhood like? Oh, I grew up in a large family. I had dozens of brothers and sisters. And I was the youngest. The he. It must have been a real mess. Nah. Oh, it was. The house was full of life and sounds all day long. My parents were poor, so the meals were scarce. The punishment were plentiful, though. But I loved growing up in this large family. It always warmed my heart. I don't like to be alone, I guess. I would love a big family, but... And then? We only have Kari. Having other children would be nice, but... What? You can't? Um, let's say my couple with Eric is not what it used to be. Oh, no. Oh, no. There is a sort of cold wall between us. I don't know what to do. Oh, dear. I didn't know. He seemed like a nice man. He is nice, but silent and stubborn as a stone. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well, good thing uh, Stash is not around anymore to use this opportunity. <laughs> sure glad he's gone. Okay. Okay, fighters first. There we go, and then everyone else gets some grump. There we go. Some tasty meals for everyone. Let's see, we are already on good track here. Renouncing. Oh, we have some illnesses we need to take a look at. So we'll do that next. We still have the battle buff, right? Let's just do a quick check here. Fight. Battle dog for one more day. So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna have to deal. Okay, let's go get an item. This is already dry. This dries really fast. It's nice. Okay, I need some more berries. I can get, grab some berries. There we go. And then... Uh, let's continue. For four characters, yeah, what's better than three? Four. Yep, 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 yep. You go there, you go there, you go there, you go there. Oh. Good. And then let's see. Sheep. Do we have a new sheep? We do. So that means the oldest one has to go. Let's to make room for new ones. Wonderful. Looks good. Oh, yeah, let's go. Brother Angelica could use some healing actually. So let's do that. Anyone else needs healing? 6, 15, 27. Also 27. Yeah, let's skip on the wood collecting. And let's go and heal disease. There we go. Um, that's fine. Could have you put her there also? Well, that's okay. So tomorrow comes uh, the Aloth, but we are ready for it. So oh, that's an ideal setup. Now look at me go. Bam! That's the only good thing she's good for when she can land that AoE on the first round. 
Come on. I need more accuracy for him. Because this is a little bit annoying, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> Come on. 65% only to hit. What in the world? Still, like, missing three times, very unlikely. But hey, here we are. Here we are. They're like, drinks on me! I'll protect you! Drinks on me! It's like... A group of no, no good doers. Zero to six. Okay, well, it's still a good chance to do something, so let's do it. Boom. What's the chance now? 70%. Yeah, this, okay, this is like super bad RNG. Like, what in the world? There we go. Eighty percent, much better. He had some kind of buff, but still, RNG was strong there. It was very unlikely that would happen. Okay, we are basically done here, so no worry, no foul. All right, victory! Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay. And then uh, I can go fish. I can actually put curry on collecting water a little bit. Move you there. Let's go cook some meat. There we go. Mm, okay. Do that. Good. Repair the stations. All the same. All the same. Da -da -da. New area. Mysterious cave! Oh, well, that's mysterious. Partially hidden from sight behind some branches and bushes, you found a small cave entrance surrounded by wooden stakes planted into the ground. The entrance is clear, but someone made it clearly obvious that you're not allowed to enter there. Yeah, let's not, you know, do it in the in the e in the afternoon evening. <laughs> uh, let's respect the cave. Okay. Hmm. Dodge. Dancing dagger, dodge initiative, critical. Okay. So basically I'm just giving people like fighting skills now. Because why not? Okay, that's fine. That's so fine. Okay, you can go. Yeah, it's doing that healing injury there we go. that's being done good brother angelico go back there you go there actually if you're doing with that car it's better to do something else oof that's okay that might it's a patient no you don't need a patient you need to okay you can go here actually and then you you can go get some berries. I don't know, doesn't matter really. Doggy, you should rest, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, everything's looking good. So, she sailed up yet again. He's gonna be a monster. Oof, looking forward to that one. And again, she's in the back and they are all in the front. That's 13 damage. That's really good for her. Oh, these are pretty fast. Oh, this she say why are you so slow? Did he get a fractured leg or something? Yeah, he might have. But I couldn't prevent that if he got it just now. I'm not sure if you can even see. Yeah, he did get a fractured leg. Oh, come on. Oh, well. Happens. Now everyone's gonna be a little bit more tough. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Oops. There we go. Okay. 3 to 3, 75. 4 to 4. Let's go for that. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Finally, him. Let's make sure we keep the. 
accuracy buff. 2 to 7, this one 3 to 3, okay. And this one, 3 to 3. I guess this one's best. Either way. Sometimes I use the AoE one just for point economy, but it doesn't make much sense, does it now? It auto ends the turn. Oh! Shana. Um. Let's actually give her minimum damage if we can. Survivalist. Health plus 2, dodge plus 10%. Oh, that's a good one. And max damage minus 1. If you really need a good avoidance tank, she can be that. With this, de definitely. And max damage, we don't really care about. Okay. And yeah, as you say, let's fix him up first, though. I'm gonna put a bandage on that fractured leg. It's gonna feel better in no time. Sneaky bastard. Dodge plus 10, critical, critical resistance. Uh, talented. Ooh. I think it's a little bit late for that, but... Okay, so I want some hit chance, I think. If you can get it. Bloodthirsty Stabber. Oh, there we go. Uh, accuracy plus 10%. Critical plus 5%. Health minus 1. And initiative minus 2. Now, I'm not super happy about minus 2 initiative. But missing stuff is also annoying. I'll grab it. Just so I stop missing. Wait, what? Lacerations, okay. What's your initiative right now? Six, yeah, okay. Um, anything else? Oh, we got a new location, right. Forgotten purse. A medium-sized leather purse is sitting on the rocks. There's no trace of its owner. Uh, maybe let's grab that. I'm not expecting problems here. Open. You open the purse and find dried meat, fruit and cheese. You are proof of the choice. You only need bread and wine for it to be the perfect meal. Take it. It looks tasty, but you should resist temptation and share your findings with everyone. That's only fair. Nice. <laughs> One cheese. <laughs> One dried fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and magic pouch, nice. And then can we look for the other? We still can. Okay, as you say, he's gonna do it. Whoever left the purse here intended to come back. You search the surrounding for clues. You don't have to search for long. You find two rotting bodies entangled hidden in a shrub. The skulls have been smashed probably by an axe. Not far away from them lies some clothing. It's easy for you to imagine what happened to the couple. Gruesome, this game, gruesome. At least he's very immune, like, to depression events. Well, resistant, not immune. Uh, Let's see how we're doing with water. Doing pretty good. Thank you, Curry. That was pretty nice. That was pretty, pretty, pretty nice. In there. Well, hopefully, Doggy can do the attack tomorrow. Well, I think he can. Tavern. Minus 15% chance of becoming drunk after party mode, sure. Depression, let's go. And that's fine, that's fine. So we went over 1000 that. <laughs> Anything else I wanna do here? No, not really. Just end the day, I think. There was something lingering in my head, though. Something. But I forgot what it is, so... It wasn't this, though. Yeah, I don't know. What's that? Is that... What is that? Is that her leg? That's so weird. Okay, um... Sure. What are you looking at, dude? 
Ah, Solwig, she's really a nice person. You're lucky to have her. Oh, come on. Don't be grumpy. Not. Mm, yeah. I think we'll get along just fine. Mm. As long as your sister stays out of it. Uh, he doesn't like her. <laughs> you have a problem with my sister? Oh no. Mm. You really need her healing knowledge when you get back to camp bleeding to that, you know? They call themselves healers. I call them butchers. Or assholes. They should save your butt, instead they cut your leg. Ugh. Hates healers, okay. But if it's choosing between losing your leg or your life... Whispers would have preferred to lose my fucking life. Oh, dude, like, don't be like that. You have a kid to protect. So... Yeah. So that's basically her leg, but doesn't look anything like her other leg, which I find really weird. That's... Fine, I guess. I mean, her feet. Okay, time to eat. There we go. And then... There we go. Well, for a guy with a stump, you're pretty good in combat, Knut. We all appreciate you, even though if the story elements are not really like that, so... Okay, we lose the battle dog. And I read you the battle dog. Renew, renew, not review, review, what in the world? Oh, drought. Okay. Attack! There, let's check out the food. Fine. Okay, let's uh, do some events. So, go to the map. Um, actually, let's go talk to her. Talk. Welcome, child. Do you have something for me? I'll give four oracalcum beads. You hand to her four of these shiny golden beads. Her cats purr in the light. You catch a glimpse of faint smile on her face as she inserts the beads into a golden helmet. Then she hands it to you. Oracalcum helmet. Get the oracalcum helmet. On behalf of all living beings on this island, I thank you, child. Here, take these potions, relics from golden age of my people. Another testimony of our great knowledge. I lived hundreds of years thanks to these potions, and I got this beautiful azure skin. We have never managed to raise this little side effect. We still have room for improvement, I guess. She giggles. <laughs> Could you share a bit of story of your people? You earned it, child. The origins of our people go back to tens of thousands of years ago. Initially, this poor little lock rock lost at sea we are walking on was part of a much bigger land. As I already said, we were the leaders of the known world in the every area. Artistic, arcanistic, scientific, societal. We built a gigantic, majestic city. Atlantis was its name, surrounded by three large concentric, concentric wolves. Other people saw us as gods and shared our stories from father to son. You may not have heard some yourselves. So yeah, this is like, yeah, Atlantis. Interesting how Atlantis people in this game are like Viking gods. Shouldn't they supposed to be like Greek gods? Maybe. Maybe not. But we were only humans and our greatness became our own demise. What happened? We learned things that we shouldn't have learned and we were punished for it. We endured a first great cataclysm that nearly eradicated the source of our power. But it wasn't enough. We endured a second one which tore our land apart in three and engulfed most of it in the ocean. You can guess the rest, a few of us survived on the three separated islands, and since then, we have been waiting for him to finish the job. Okay, so this definitely means they plan another game, because one island was dead in uh, Bermuda, now we got another game dead in Winland, so surely they, they are planning to make another game where they're gonna be having the third island, right? And that idea excites me. It's coming soon for a cursed island, engulfed in flames of a volcano. What a beautiful end. Hmm. Wisdom plus five, nice. I'm sure you have many more questions, but I will have to wait. 
If you think there's still hope for us, bring me four more Oracalcum beads. Good luck, child. Okay, well, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do our best. Bring four Oracalcum beads. Bring four, another four Oracalcum beads to Freya. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a boat I, I left in. There's some sheep. There's Aloth. There's some more sheep and there's some more sheep. And what is this thing? Okay, we... This used to be a well-guarded cave, not anymore, though. I guess it's the snake next. Really? Venomous snake. Kill it, make a diversion, inspect. You notice a snake knotted around the bottles. The way it's reeled around them gives the impression the snake is protecting them. It certainly won't let you take them. I'm gonna kill it. Who do we send? That's send Kari. It may not be an ox or a boar, but still give you something to eat for tonight. And if you can get the bottles at the same time, this will be perfect. But you know that killing it won't be easy despite its unimpressive appearance. These reptiles can be very reactive and more swiftly. You'll only get one shot. Use a bow. You notch an iron focus before you shoot. You don't want to miss your target. The snake rolls unpredictably, swinging left to right. <laughs> Would be fun if you get x here. No? Okay. You kill the snake with only one arrow. You're pretty satisfied. Unfortunately, one of the bottles broke because of the arrow's impact. Oh, no. Okay, some more meat. A cola potion. A cylinder potion. Okay. Let's do a couple more. I forgot what is this thing. Oh, it's the river. Okay. So here's the guy that sells stuff. Loki, was he? Uh, yeah, let's just move on the way. Strange lights. Inspect. Strange lights are shimmering deep below the surface of this specific spot. You can't make out what is the cause of these lights. Sometimes you feel you see a glowing shape, but you can't be sure. When you swim near the lights, you feel a certain warmth, but like it was coming from inside your body. It's not unpleasant, right? You can send somebody to drink water to heal and stuff, I guess. You know what? Let's keep this around, actually. Hemp patch! You stumble upon a patch of hemp. The gods be blessed with this plant. You'll be able to craft ropes, fabric, healing salves, painkillers, and divination incense. It's a great asset for the camp. Great. Harvest. Now, somebody who doesn't have 100 harvesting, but it's our warrior. Ah, probably a lot of it. This variety of wild hemp is perfect suited for crafting resistant fabric and ropes. Although you know you can also gather a few things for healing and divination purposes. Might be less potent than other hemp types though. Craft, uh, gather craft material or gather healing material. Let's gather craft material. Before cutting anything, you look for seeds. If you could farm them at camp, it would significantly improve your quality of life. Then you take your knife out and begin diligently cutting and removing all leaves from the stalks. That will make, s that will make you save time to get fibers out of the stalks at camp. Great job, blood of it. Great job. Seven hemp. We have over three thousand three hundred though. So let's check out the other one, I guess. But we'll probably fail, right? Gather healing material. Oh, yeah. You know that leaves can be used, but you don't know how many you would need. You take a bunch. Some flowers fall apart when you pluck them, spreading their pollen. You feel tears building up as you sneeze several times. With a heavy heart, you leave a few leaves behind, hoping. To stop the crying and sneezing, you curse your nose for its sensibility. So we're gonna get a rash. Allergies for seven days. Ish. Well, since we already have allergies, we might as well, right? This time, it's actually more likely not to fail, but hey, it is what it is. Well, we're gonna be able to heal ourselves with those plants. Examine the soil. Let's have her. The patch is restricted to a small area. You can spot no hemp elsewhere. Something the soul must have helped it grow. Oh, it was a dead body, right? Yeah, I remember this. You put some of the fertile soil in a pouch to use on your own crops. Hidden in the dirt, you find a little shiny stone. Oh, okay. So we didn't find the body then. Interesting. Some seeds. Ah, we stopped gardening though, because... No. Any more hemp? No. Okay. 
All right, let's use the item and then we're gonna wrap it up. Hopefully enjoy the episode. If you didn't, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do some nice things, uh, be kind to each other and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode of uh, That in Winland. The Niemer signing out. Bye bye.